once again welcome back dear students in this part of chapter 6 c we will discuss about the comprehension words in a context this means whenever you have faced or written the comprehension you might have observed that there is a first compulsory question based on comprehension that is write the meaning of the given words as used into the context of the comprehension that's a compulsory question so we need to build up our vocabulary for that we need to study the words new words for that we can apply the method of writing five new words every day and try to memorize these words and try to make use of these words in the own sentences then when such kind of a question is asked how you should deal with that it's a compulsory question so you need to understand its a perspectives details so you can get the nice marks in that so here we will learn some facts and some guidelines which will help you to write the exact and the correct meaning of the words asked in the question once again i repeat it's a very compulsory question three words are asked every time whenever you are facing the comprehension so we need to be very careful about it okay take a look at the introduction of this in comprehension the meanings of words are asked that can be written in words or phrases okay then here you can write down the meaning of a word having the same spelling or the same sound as the word used into the passage but having an entirely different meaning you can try to write down the meaning of the word according to the context it is asked we can write the totally different word but the meaning has to be same that you think about and that is what mostly the required here we can write down the answer as a one word answer or a in a phrase also in all the cases you have to understand the context of the passage first focus on this word context it is expected that one word can have four to five meanings in a dictionary it means that you cannot use any meaning which you are familiar with in the comprehension passage you have to understand the comprehension first and how it is used into the comprehension accordingly you have to write down the meaning you cannot write any other meaning for that that's why you need to understand the context first and then we can write down the words meaning and the expressions this is what the general introduction for comprehension let's study now the important ideas how we can try to write down it in a let's learn the first guideline and that is important one take a look at here while you give the meaning of a word only one answer only one answer do not write alternatives we have a habit whenever we write the answers especially the meanings we do write three four meanings related to that context or the word and that is not acceptable at all you should write one meaning that is mostly used into the paragraph look at the example here a uh, big rock you have to write down the meaning of big used as a, a word in a context so big we can write only one answer that is a large but big we know so many meanings so we can sometimes in a erroneous way we can write many words like big is equal to large then great then enormous then gigantic okay or very huge huge like that we may write four five meanings but the suitable one which is used in the passage that you are supposed to write you should keep that one in mind and write 
only that particular meaning that's the first point and the first and the most important rule you should follow it second idea when you answer the one word question with the one word answer and that is most probably you should attempt it it is essential to note that the answer fits well in the context try to understand this question it means that sometimes it may be necessary to show a change of preposition after a word take a look at here the auditorium was filled with the children now as the word is asked filled filled we may try to just get an idea with the help of only the word used filled filled means we get an idea about that it's a full okay so we may write the answer as a full for example check it out here here it would not be altogether correct to write the answer that is a full here you should attempt the answer like this filled is equal to full but here it has to be full of because in the context it is said that the children cannot be the full no we have to use the proper prepositions to give the answer according to the context so sometimes we can use a proper use of preposition and make the word according to the context full at some extent it is correct but in this context it is not possible at all so we have to use full of this is what you should keep it in mind while writing the one word so sometimes little bit vigilancy is also important to write down this answer let's look at to the next one look at to the third one in a question on verbs your answer will have to be in the same tense focus on this one understand this context full comprehension means explaining or showing the tense as well means you have to show that you understand the meaning of the verb and that you know the tense of the verb as well once you the verb word is asked you should understand the tense of that and that too with the context and then in the same tense only you should write down the answer for example kindled it means lighted look at this it is a ed that is a past tense so the answer must to be also in the past tense do not write kindled is equal to light or light it has to be lighted this one will show you or idea that at least you have some sort of information or idea of the tense used into the passage so these are some minor things you should have to keep it in mind while writing the answer which will make you or give you the positive answers or positive marks next point while giving a one word answer make sure that you give a similar part of speech that of the word in the passage now if the words are used as any other part of the speech so it can be noun it can be adjective it can be adverb then you should have to write down the meaning of that word in the same part of speech example take a look at he was unhappy now unhappy is actually used as adjective in the sentence so unhappy we wanted to write down the meaning of that we cannot write sadly though sadly looks a correct one but sadly is used as adverb but the given word is adjective so sometimes in a hurry up way we can make that silly mistakes and that will have the penalty to you so here unhappy is exact answer is sad as unhappy is adjective sad is also adjective so that's what you have to keep it in mind next one if you are asked to explain a group of words 
you will have to do so keeping in mind that of context of such words sometimes you may be asked a group of words meaning that timing you can write down the meaning according to the context example take a look at in rajasthan there are more many sparsely populated villages now the meaning is asked of sparsely populated and the answer is thinly populated now here you can see sparsely is adverb so thinly is also adverb populated past tense inhabited past tense so these are some common things you should keep it in mind next one he thought he was right but he had erred now here erred means made a mistake not make a mistake made a mistake as the word is in past tense next and the last one where by giving one word for another the context does not read smoothly rewrite the context take a look at the daily paper here the daily means every day but to answer daily is equal to every day would not give the correct meaning because what you are saying is the everyday paper the everyday paper means ordinary paper and this answer would not show that you have understood the meaning of daily you have to show fully the meaning of the word in its context thus the correct answer is daily is equal to every day here the paper that is printed every day or the paper that is published every day look at the word how it is used here if it is used one word every day it means ordinary paper but that is not the meaning here you have to should should have to use every day two separate words this shows that the paper that is published daily and if you write a everyday paper this means it is a ordinary paper so that's a small difference you should have to keep it in mind and these are some of the facts and ideas you have to follow exactly whenever you are attempting the word meaning the comprehension and that is a must one a little bit practice and vocabulary building will definitely make you perfect and here on your page number 103 there is a full passage and here few words are asked as a part of exercise you can try to get the meaning of these three words so for that read the passage carefully understand how it is used and then according to the context of this passage you should write down the meaning of that like that we can have the many practices with the help of with the help of the given practice paper in your textbook so we can try to be more perfect in that that's all for the lesson comprehension how to write down the answer of words in the comprehension hope you understood and got the clear ideas about that thanks for watching thank you